Hi everyone, right, quick video, not done one of these for a while. Um, I've been to the pound shop, as I do, and I've got some sound reactive LEDs. Uh, some fairy lights, as we call them in the UK, Christmas lights for your tree. And I've wired the two together. So I've taken out the original LEDs from here, which were these, uh, let me just grab them, well prepared. These rather nice, like rice lights, I don't know what to call them. Like an enamel wire with LEDs in them. And I've kept them. These are not going anywhere. I'm going to use them for another project. Uh, I've taken them out of this box. Desoldered them. Really easy. And the fairy lights, as you can see, are flickering. I've taken them out of their box, which I've kept as well. Because it's got a little circuit in there to flash. So I'm going to take that apart later and see what it does. Anyway, as you can see from the lights, they are reacting to sound. Whoa. Bah. Work. A bit, a bit trippy. But yeah. There we go. Quick little hack. Cheers. Okay, in addition to the last video, I'm going to test the sound reactive qualities of this little setup with some music. And for that, I'm using the Class Olsen DIY Bluetooth speaker kit. Seven quid. You even get the box. And it's just a really simple Bluetooth speaker, stereo. Which is good. A little volume control at the top, excuse the desk. Powered via USB, here again, excuse the desk. Or you can put in three AA batteries. I'm using USB because I've got a desk power supply. And to test the audio, I'm going to use the YouTube audio library, which has copyright free music. Woohoo! So I'm not going to get sued or something like that. So, as you can see, it's reacting to my voice. I want to show you what it sounds like, well, what it looks like with sound. Okay, here it goes. There we go, that tune was called Power Up by Jeremy Blake, and it's on the YouTube audio library, you can Google that to find it. It's under the electronics section, if anyone's interested. Anyway, thanks very much, cheers.